Hi guys, I'm Swapanil, and today I'm going to talk about a strange coincidence okay, that happens in case of a graph which is sin x over x. Okay? So I don't think there's any deep reason for the coincidence that I'm going to show you, but it's, it's, it's kind of mind-blowing. f of x equal to sin x over x. Okay? Now how does, it, how does this look like if I plot this graph versus x? Okay? If I plot the graph of this function, you know, uh, then how does it look like? So you have a graph which kind of looks like this. Right. So what happens is that at x equals zero, okay, this value is one. All right. So when x approaches approaches zero, sine x over x goes to one. All right. And at this point, okay, which is x equal to pi, okay, sine pi is equal to zero. So this the, the function y is equal to zero. All right. So similarly, this is minus pi, this is two pi, and so on. All right. And the graph actually falls down, okay, so gradually this, so it's oscillatory, but the oscillation, the amplitude of the oscillation gradually decreases, okay, all right? Now, this graph has a finite area under it, okay? So that means minus infinity to plus infinity, sine x over x is equal to pi, okay? So what, what does that mean geometrically, all right? So it means that, you know, the meaning of the integral is that you, add up all these areas with proper sign, right? So this, you know, so this is the principal lobe, okay? It has a positive sign, and then you add, you know, this bar, okay, which will have a negative sign, and then this one is positive and so on, okay? So if you add up all the areas with proper signs, they add up to pi, okay? So this is, you know, this is actually true. You can, you can derive this, okay? You can actually prove this, you know, uh, you can calculate this integral, and you can show that it, it's equal to pi. Now, you notice something very interesting, okay? Which is, if you, now let's draw a triangle. Okay, just this triangle, okay? It's drawn in black, okay? So let's give it an M. A, B, C, okay? What is the area of this triangle? Okay. Its height is one, right? This is one. And what is A, C? So AC is just, you know, it goes from minus pi to plus pi, so AC is 2 pi, right? So the area of the triangle uh, ABC is half times the base, which is AC, which is 2 pi, right? Times the height, which is 1. So this is just pi, okay? So this triangle has the same area as this integral, okay? So what does that mean? Okay, and you can see that the triangle is slightly shorter in area than uh, that of the main lobe, right? And that makes sense because you know this this main lobe is positive, and then you'll have a negative number added to that, you know, and then positive again, and so on. Okay, it is oscillatory, but you know, I mean, you can have this area to be pi. So what happens is that for uh, this function, uh, you know, when you add all the areas, then what you get is just the area of this triangle. Okay, although the main lobe you know has an area larger than the triangle. Okay, but the, my point is that the coincidence that I was talking about is just this: triangle ABC is pi, which is the same as this integral. Okay, it, it's it's true, and I think it's a coincidence. Now let me just show you another um, indefinite integral. Okay, it's kind of related. So this function has a very interesting property. I just told you, right? Integral sine x over x is pi. Now you square this function. Okay. I'm writing it here, and do the integral. So now I'm doing the integral of sine x over x squared. That is also pi, actually. Okay, so I don't know if it's true for any other functions, but it's true for sine x over x, okay? And how does this look like, sine squared x over x squared? It's, look, you know, it's, it's always a positive function, first of all, so if you plot it, it would be something like this, okay? Okay, it's always positive, you see, and it's, it's gradually it's falling down, okay? And the sum of all these areas, okay, if you add up all the areas of the slopes, you get pi, okay? And so that means, you know, you can draw your, like, we can draw a triangle once again, okay? Now, um, I'll just modify this a little bit, I'll tell you why, okay? So, let me just draw the triangle first, okay? So this is our triangle, right? And the thing is, you know, the the main lobe of this function now has to be within the triangle somehow. Okay? Its area, the area of the main lobe has to be shorter than the triangle. Why? 
because you know you're adding all these positive numbers now, right, to the main loop, and the sum is pi, okay? And the triangle itself has an area of pi. Okay? So the main loop cannot has to be you know slightly shorter than the you know than the triangle. In other words, the main loop has to be inside the triangle. Alright? So okay, so this is just a you know I think it's just pure coincidence, there's nothing deep going on here. But it's it's kind of it's fun. I think it's it's funny, right? I mean I mean the triangle happens to have exactly the same area okay, as this integral or this one. Uh, but I think you know um, well this is just a you know as I said it's a coincidence but I think uh, more beautiful okay more how should I put it like you know uh, surprising thing is these two like this function and its square has a same integral okay that is also true okay so both of them are pi so a couple of interesting things so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like my videos okay please subscribe to my channel and thank you.